talk about um, my lapel might go flat, but um, yep. Hey, it's me, Cayman. I've been jogging. I started jogging again. I used to do it every day. Now I'm doing it. I've done it for three days now. It's my day off. I've been working full time, so I just don't have time to do stuff. I guess. Dropped out of uni last year. Anyway, those are some updates. I guess. I'm working on stuff, but just not putting out or finishing much. I don't know. I'm doing pretty good though. Um, I've just been thinking a lot about some things I think might be helpful to you guys, some self-help stuff. Um, so, where do I start? So, everything keeps going wrong with this freaking video. I'm just going to cut it wherever the audio freaking cut out. Oh, this is getting annoying. Far out. The video keeps cutting out. I keep getting the audio. The microphones went flat. The angles keep getting messed up. I'm just going to try to get this cell out there. One of the things, one of the first things I reckon can help with depression is when you self-talk. You know, how you talk to yourself. And like, in your head, you can kind of if you go into an experience feeling bad, you'll have a bad experience. But if you feel good and you go into an experience, you'll have a better experience overall, even if it was a bad experience. Like, it'll be a better one than if you were feeling bad beforehand. I don't know, you can kind of use this so like, eh, for example, this doesn't always fit the case, but it's for example, it's like, try to find, like, every, life is work, right? You get so sad, you're like, oh, Cayman, I hate my life. All I do is work, 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 and then I'm gonna die. And it's like, that's pretty rough, man. But uh, life is work. Every day, we have to work, rather, whether we like it or not. That means we would have to, in the old times, we'd have to hunt for food, for meat, for grow on our farms, and fight the other tribes, and you know, blah, blah, blah. And now it's like, yes, life is work. We have to pay bills. We have to be grown-ups, we have to have kids, we have to go out and date, actively date, and then we have to actively, you know, pursue a meaning in our lives and find vices and blah, 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 you know, fulfill our vices and all this stuff. Everything, and fight our vices, like, life is work. No matter what we do, there is suffering. But you can mitigate it to a minimal with the more work you put in. And it's kind of like... Try to find purpose, because when it gets overwhelming, when you're depressed, that kind of work gets overwhelming. You can't eat, sleep, right, you know, like, so try to think about, try to find purpose. This is the, try to find purpose in your work. And then through that work, you will find your life's purpose. Your life purpose doesn't have to be your life purpose for the rest of your life. Sometimes it can just be for the next week or two, or the next month, or the next year, to stop you from hurting yourself. You know, uh, it can be uh, the purpose of this work, because everything has a purpose in this place in the universe. You know, um, I have to get, get why I want to get up in the morning. That's work. I want to brush my teeth. I want to eat food. This is all work. I can't be bothered. I have a job that I don't like, and I have to do it every day. This is work. But guess what? There's a purpose in all these things. I need to wake up in the morning so I can eat a yummy breakfast. I need a yummy breakfast so I can get through the day. I need to get through the day because I need to get to the next day. It's because I need to find my life's purpose. You know, I need to brush my teeth because I want a clean mouth. It feels nice. That's the minimal. Minimal is it feels nice to have clean teeth. It feels nice to sleep well. It feels nice to eat well. And then it goes, I have to work every day. I'm doing this because I'm feeding people. I'm working in hospo. It's feeding people. This isn't my my forever purpose is just now and it's paying the bills so I can get on top of my life stuff so I can save money to get get what I want to, to get a degree or to move to a nicer place you know there's per find purpose in your work and then through that work you will find your life's purpose and through that work if you keep finding new kinds of work and finding purpose in it eventually all that purpose is going to snowball into finding you in a place in life where you will find life's purpose you will find that thing that fulfills your soul 
if you keep working with purpose. And you can work with purpose if you find it. The other thing is, four words that I feel like help you get through life. Four, four steps. Try this whenever you're talking to someone that makes you angry. Try this when you think you're do, being too hard on yourself. It's called the first word, and if you get any one of these words wrong, it doesn't work. But if you get them all wrong, right, it will. it's a sustained optimism, sustained love. Now, how you can try this. Try showing yourself compassion. And try showing others who are mean to you compassion. Or just people you don't like compassion. Maybe being mean to you is a bit of a, I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. You can apply it to all of these things. So try showing them compassion. Through compassion, you will give yourself the leeway, the wiggle room, to start to understand them. Start to understand yourself. Why am I doing this to myself? Why? Go show yourself compassion. Don't be hard on yourself. And you'll start to understand why you did that. Once you start understanding why you did that or why someone else does that, you can start to accept the things that you can't change. Accept the things you can't change. And once you start doing that, you can start loving yourself again. Or you can, and you can start showing people out there, others, love. And this love creates more compassion. The compassion creates more understanding, more acceptance, then more love again. And it creates a snake that eats itself, but in a good way. It, it's never ending. But this can be messed up. Because if you change the third word, acceptance, it has to be accepting of the things you can't change. But if you're accepting things you can't change, it becomes apathy. It becomes complacency and apathy. And you don't want that. That's staying in a marriage that you're not happy in. That's staying in a job that you don't like for too long. That's doing things that are bad for you. And it just going, yep, well, I'm just addicted to meth. I accept it. No, that's apathy and that's complacency. Don't accept that. You can be better. You deserve better. You know? Show yourself love and compassion. Just make sure that when you start to understand why you do things, or why others do things, or why things are the way they are, don't make it complacency and apathy. Because then the love doesn't, doesn't go cycle back. It can become resentment. It can toxify this this circle, this this snake that eats itself, and then it be, really does become you being the snake eating itself. These are just some things I've been thinking about. I'm gonna go get something to eat now. All right, see ya. So if you're feeling depressed, one of the first things you can kind of do, I reckon, in my experience, is try to stop. Stop, try to put a gate on what you say to yourself, like, don't, so, self-talk is important, but the main thing I want to talk about is actually, uh,